हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज प्रोफेसर एस वी आरकर फ्रॉम ए आई एस एस एम एस इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी पुणे आई एम वर्किंग ऐज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन फिजिक्स इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग सायसेस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन लॉ ऑफ मैलस स्टूडेंट्स लेटस सी वॉट इज लॉ ऑफ मैलस इट इज ऑब्जर्व दैट इफ the two toromaline plates are arranged after one after another like this this is the first toromaline plate and the second toromaline plate is arranged like this these are the axis of the toromaline plate then it is observed that when unpolarized beam of light is incident on plate 1 which is symbolically represented like this this is symbol to represent unpolarized light then it is observed that only those vibrations which are parallel to the axis of the toromaline plate 1 are passed by the plate hence emergent light is called as plain polarized light and when the second toromaline plate axis is parallel to the first one then the amplitude of the vibrations pass from the second toromaline plate are found to be maximum law of malus is related to variation of the amplitude of the transmitted component depends upon what is the angle theta between the axis of the two toromaline plates and it is observed that when the axis are parallel then amplitude of transmitted component is found to be maximum on the other hand if the angle between axis of the two toromaline plate increases and it becomes 90 degree like this then the amplitude of transmitted component is found to be zero so this variation in the amplitude of the transmitted component from the second plate is found to be function of cosine of the angle theta between the axis of polarizer and analyzer so if we represent the amplitude of electric field vector like this making angle theta with the y axis then the resolve component of this vector 
along y axis is transmitted and resolve component of this vector along x axis is blocked so this is blocked component this is transmitted component therefore if e theta denotes the amplitude of the vector then it is found that it is em times cos of the angle theta which is nothing but e theta is proportional to cosine of the angle theta which is law of malus in terms of intensity it is expressed as i theta equal to i m cos square theta i hope what is law of malus is now clear to you thank you students